All of us have fears, and there is no person that has no fear. There is no person that, that is not, would not be fearful when they go forth into battle. But what a courageous person is, what a person is that has courage, is a person that goes forth into battle anyways. It's a person that knows what is right. They know that they need to be fighting in the battle. They need to be engaging in the battle. You know what they do? They pick up their sword and they run forth into battle even in spite of fear. That is a courageous person. And when the Bible says right here, be of good courage and let us play the men for our people, you know what he's saying? I know that you're afraid. I know that you're scared. I understand that the battle is fierce and the battle is hot, but you know what? Play like you're not. Act like you're not. Do what you need to do anyways. You feel the feeling of fear? Go forth into battle anyways. Make it look like you're not afraid. Do what makes it look like you're not afraid. And you know what? Everybody here has fear. Everybody here is scared. When you have to take a stand, you know what? It's scary. It's fearful. You know what? Maybe if you had the fear of losing your job because you get caught in the office and maybe they find out what you believe, what kind of church you go to or whatever it is, you know what you need to do? You need to do what's right anyways. You need to stand for the Word of God anyways. You know, if, if the church ever receives heat, if maybe, you know, they, they comes to a time when we're not allowed to meet anymore, or they say that we're not allowed to meet anymore, you know what you need to do? It'll be fearful. You might go to jail. You might be arrested. You might have to pay a fine. You know what you need to do? You need to come anyways. You know, if there's ever a time when somebody says, hey, you can't own a Bible. You're not allowed to pray. You know what you need to do? You might be afraid, but you need to play the man for your people. You need to do it anyways, even when you're afraid. This is a good thing that you could teach to your sons and to teach to your boys that, hey, everybody's afraid. But you know the ones that are strong? You know the ones that are real men? They're the ones that play the men for their people anyways. Even in spite of fear, even when you're scared, you do what's right anyways. That's a courageous man. And everybody that goes forth into battle, when all those men, if you've seen real footage of World War II, when they, when they uh, blast the beach and everybody gets off and just takes off, everybody in that crowd is fearful. Every single last man is scared. And you know what's running through some of their minds? I could die in a few minutes. I could be shot down dead in a few minutes. But you know what they did? They played the man anyways. They got up off that boat and they rushed that shore anyways. And they went in there and they fought anyways. Everybody that goes forth into battle is afraid. Every last one of them. So why does it say, quit yourselves like men? Why would it say, <coughs> quit means to act? What, what does it mean when he says, quit yourselves like men? Why would he say, act like a man? Why would he say, play the part or play the man for our people? You know why? Because what true courage is, he told him, be of good courage. How did he word it? Yes, be of good courage. What, did he, what was he saying? Courage is when a person goes forth and they act like a man even when they're afraid. That is the moment when you find out whether you're truly courageous or not. That is, when, that is when you actually get to display true courage. Courage is going forward with what is right, doing what you should do, even in spite of 